Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrew. Today I'm going to continue my series all about entitlement and I'm going to be talking about this idea that um, we're hearing more and more of in society as well as kids are being taught in schools. Feeling and emotions are important. Now, don't misinterpret what I'm saying here. I believe they are very important. Uh, I think that it is very important to be emotionally intelligent and emotionally aware of what you're feeling and what your fear what your your emotions are telling you in that moment um, one of the things i have to do because of my mental illness struggles in the past uh, i have an exercise that i do every day i stop at a random time during the day and i look at okay what am i feeling right now i try to be as specific as I can with all the feelings, all the emotions I'm, I'm having in that moment, I then ask myself, why? Why am I having those feelings and emotions? So, you know, for instance, um, maybe I'm about to go to a, a, a new place and so I'm feeling a little anxious. Uh, and I'm a, let's say it's a, a specialist and, and they have test results for me or something. I haven't been to that specialist's place before so I'm feeling a little nervous little anxious, things like that, and then, so why am I feeling that? Well, I've never been in the building before, so I don't know where I'm going, I've never, you know, I've, I'm worried about the test results, maybe it could be something bad, that type of thing, and I go into it. And then the last part, which is actually probably the most important part, I have to tell myself, I have to reaffirm it's okay to have these feelings. Uh, a lot of, uh, well, not, not all of what contributed to my mental illness, but part of what contributed to my mental illness is that I would um, I would uh, very much stuff my emotions and also I would not accept that I could have those emotions. Like it was bad. I was telling myself that it was bad for me to have those emotions. That's a big no-no by the way. That's not going to do any good for you in the long term. I know from experience, believe me. Now, were there other things that also led to my mental illness and anxiety issues that I, I have had to deal with over the years? Yes, of course, there were. There's lots of things that went into it, but that was one of them. Um, so I'm not saying that emotions are, and feelings are, are not important. It is very important to be emotionally aware and to even, even more than just being emotionally aware, meaning you're aware of what emotions you're feeling in a moment, it, it's important to understand why you're feeling them. However, the problem with what people are being taught with that, you know, feelings and emotions are important is that people are taking this to an extreme that they, uh, in my opinion, they shouldn't be. Um, I, I think just because of how this is being taught, I also think because of um, just people generally do this when they, they get taught a lesson, they take it almost like too far, they have to kind of figure it out before they figure out where, oh, okay, that's too far, okay, now we got to dial it back a little bit. Um, and so I propose a slight change where they are taught that their feelings and emotions are important to them. Uh, now that is not to say, for instance, that it's only important to them, your, your family, your loved ones, your friends, they may care about your feelings and emotions too. However, that is meant to kind of make people understand that when they're walking down a street, for instance, a person that's passing by them who has no idea who they are, didn't even know they existed before that moment, they don't care about your feelings and emotions. Now that's not to say that you shouldn't have your feelings or emotions. That not, that's not even to take anything away from your feelings or emotions. It's just to show that they're important to you, but they're not important to that stranger that doesn't even know you existed. So I think that would help people a little bit understand that it's, it should not be taken to the extreme. And what do I mean that it's being taken to the extreme? Well, a lot of people in the past would have a feeling uh, uh, about like, I'm going to use an example and I'm going to use this example throughout this video. Um, someone, uh, uh, an article of clothing uh, that they don't like. Uh, someone, someone walking by them is wearing something they just, they, they don't like for whatever reason. They, they could think it's ugly, they could think it's inappropriate, whatever it is. 
in the past you would have that a lot of people would have that feeling but not say anything i i think now because of this idea that your feelings are important and they need to be validated people are then think that they have to tell that person that that clothing is inappropriate or that clothing sucks or that clothing whatever you know whatever whatever they they feel about that clothing that's not what this means people um there 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 needs to be balance there needs to be balance between emotions feelings and a balance between you know logic and critical thinking and one you should not sacrifice one for the other so you should not sacrifice logic and critical thinking just for emotions and feelings and vice versa you should not um, sacrifice feelings and emotions for logic and critical thinking the the the, the best people are ones that can balance all those things now don't get me wrong that's a very hard thing to do and uh, especially because emotions are uh, are raw yeah, and 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 generally actually when you're feeling extreme emotion it tends to um, shut down your logical centers in your brain so it's very hard to keep that balance um, but that is where you want to be you want to try and maintain that balance there is a reason by the way that there was a saying and, and, and I was taught it as a kid. Everyone I knew was taught it as a kid. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. We need to start bringing that back, honestly. Uh, I get it. Like, I, I, I'm not for... Uh, I'm not... I, I think most things should be uh, protected under free speech. But there also has to be some sort of decency and some sort of respect in this world. Like, fair enough you don't like their shirt perfect don't wear their shirt don't buy their shirt you don't have to worry about it at that problem it's their shirt um and if you're claiming for instance that you don't like their shirt well and and you feel like because your your emotions need validation that you need to tell them that what about their emotions what about their feelings because you telling them that is likely going to affect their emotions and their feelings in a negative way. Now, if someone is wearing a shirt, now, I get it, there are exceptions to this, but the, for the most part, it's because they want to wear the shirt. They generally will like the shirt. I don't tend to wear clothing that I don't like uh, wearing. Um, again, obviously there are exceptions, but the, that's, a, that's a good general rule. So, if, if they like it, why do you, what, why does it matter what you think? It doesn't to them. That's why your emotions matter to you. That's why I'm saying that. It, it, your, your emotions and your feelings don't matter to them. And they really shouldn't, actually. Um, if you are influenced by everyone else's feelings about you, then uh, good luck. That, that's all I'm going to say. Because, by the way, I used to be. I used to be. I worried about what everyone thought about me at one point in my life. And, yeah, it nearly destroyed me. And I mean that literally. So, again, this is being taken to the extreme. So, but here's the problem. If we're going to take this idea to the extreme, let's actually take it to the extreme. Let's say I'm walking down the street and I see someone wearing uh, an article of clothing Let's say uh, shoes. I think these shoes are just, I, I, I think they're gross. I think they look like clown shoes. I wouldn't wear them. You couldn't see me wear them in a million years. And then let's say, now, truth be told, in reality, I don't care because that's your clothing. And if you like it, not for me, but I'm not going to say anything because that's you. Do you. Um, but... Uh, I, I don't like it, and so I feel like because I have these feelings, I need to get them out and tell you them. But if if my feelings matter, don't their feelings matter too? Like I said before. So I might be hurting their feelings. I might be... They might have negative feelings because of what I tell them. So if you're going around thinking you are the only one that are allowed to feel your feelings, aha, that's where narcissism and entitlement come in, isn't it? And that's what we're talking about in this series. So either you have to accept that everyone has those feelings, everyone's feelings are that important. Um, I mean, it, 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 it's fascinating to me because I've literally seen out when I'm about someone stop someone and say, I don't like your shirt. 
and then be offended when that person calls them an asshole. You deserve what you get, in my opinion. If you think that your feelings are important enough to share, then they can share their feelings about you. Can they not? Um, that's, yeah, that, that one boggles my mind. Like, I'm the only person, but again, that's where we get into the narcissism and the, the entitlement. So let's say we get to a point, and by the way, we're starting to get to this point, which is very, very worrying for me. There is this idea out there that you shouldn't be able to do something if it offends someone. That is a ridiculous idea. And that is the extreme version of this whole idea of your feelings matter, by the way. Because if if someone's feelings matter, you shouldn't be able to do anything to create negative feelings in that person. Okay, so let's push this to the extreme. In the not too distant dystopian created future uh, for this experiment, for this example, uh, everyone has a chip in their brain. And this chip, all it does is it stops people from doing anything that might be offensive to someone else. That's all it does. Name one thing you can do that might not be offensive to someone else. Nothing you say, nothing, you couldn't speak because someone might find anything offensive. And that's the problem. Anything you do could be offensive to someone. I'll give you some crazy, crazy examples. How are you going to eat? People are starving in the world. How dare you shove it in their face that, that you're eating and they're not? Uh, how are you going to even just get out of bed? What about what about uh, handicapped individuals who uh, who who need help getting out of bed? You're 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 insulting them by doing that. They may be offended that you can just so easily you know drop your feet to the floor and get out of bed. What about petting my cat? Could I actually pet my cat? What if there's a dog person who 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 thinks I'm saying by petting my cat I hate dogs? And by the way, apparently that exists. Um, what about those people who are allergic to cats? Am I just throwing it in their face that, that, that haha, I can have a cat and you can't, you suck? Uh, this is how people are interpreting things. And that's the problem because that's, that's your feelings at the extreme. And so obviously this would be a very bad scenario. And this, uh, well, hopefully this never happens because there would be no such thing as humanity anymore if it did we would go extinct. So, yeah, that's the extreme. And the reason I bring it to such an extreme is because if you have an argument, one of the best ways you can uh, check whether it's a good argument or not is take that argument to the extreme. Uh, generally, the extreme is never going to happen. I don't think we're ever going to be at a point where we have inhibitor chips. But if we're, if we're being told we can't do something because it might offend someone. Well, anyone could take offense to anything. Therefore, we would not be able to do anything. That's a ridiculous argument. So it, it, is, a good, it is a good exercise to take these things to the extreme. Um, now, I have a, a, a story about an actual situation that's happening in my life when it comes to this. Um, however, I see how long this is going to be. So I'm going to film that in a separate video so I will I will fill that film that in a second and you will see that I believe it's going to be in the same week. I'm not quite sure of the release schedule yet, but uh, until then, I will see you have a good day.